Hey everyone, welcome to Mr. Holland's Classroom. Uh, this is another resource tour video, and this one's kind of special because it's different than the other ones that I've been showing you guys, and this is the reason why I'm not showing it via uh, Screencastify. So, um, it, we'll start with this. The website that we're going to be accessing is Khan Academy. It's a website that has a lot of educational courses on it and from my experience I had to set up a teacher account on it and it has um, all the stuff all the way up to high school it has uh, materials and stuff on there what I found interesting however is that for reading they didn't have access for um, kindergarten and first grade uh, they showed that they had beta programs for second grade um, going up and so when I looked more into it, I found that they actually have a app from any app store. You go to the Apple store, you can go to Google Play and download the app. But they have an app that has a lot of the um, preschool, kindergarten type level um, academics, um, reading and with uh, mathematics, early learning concepts is what they call it. So the app is called Khan Kids or Khan Academy Kids. The app looks like this. If I can get this to zoom in. Click, 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 click. And there it is. Con Kids. It has like a bear on it. And when you click on it, it opens up to this. Um, so you'll set up an account. And I set one up for my daughter just so I can look through it. And I put it at um, a kindergarten level. Like I, I said, she's five. Um, the, on my phone it popped up and it had an icon that said um, permission for talk to text which is um, basically asking you to use um, your phone's microphone to uh, set this up and I think that's because there are some features on here where you actually talk and it responds um, but anyway let me kind of show you a little bit you can pick your own icon I just picked a hippo for her um, so this is kind of what shows up to me and I just started with this um, if you click on the house, it will take you to uh, some like games, and it kind of walks the kids through. There's not really much of a choice there, but up in the corner, you'll see this book, and it says library, and when you click on it, I hate that it's not focusing. There we go. If you click on it, it takes you to this page, and there's a bunch of stuff on here. I didn't have any even getting into all of it, but like, if you look, it says books, videos, you can create, you can work offline. There's... ABC one two three reading logic stuff and I love this format um, I look down here at some of these books it says new early readers and if you click on any of these books take a look click plant to see by Cynthia Platt if you look it says read to me or it says read by myself what I love about that is is that if your child is at a level where you feel like they're not confident in reading you can click the read to me option and it will take you through the book and read to your child. What you can do with this to kind of supplement that is talk about some of the comprehensive stuff that's going on in the story, like what happened when the character faced this problem, or um, what do you think about the end? Uh, those are great conversations to have, but if you want to challenge your child to recognize some of the words that they might know and read some of the words that they might know, I would encourage you to read by myself so that way you can see what your child knows. So if I click read to me, I hate that's not focusing, but um, you can um, click an option where it pauses. You can, there was an option after it read the page, you can click it to read it back. Um, you can go back a page, you can go forward a page, or you can come back to the home. And when you come back, it takes you back to the library. Um, I, I don't want to go too much into this because I want you guys to kind of explore it. Um, again, it's free right now. Um, I don't know what they're going to um, ask you in charge of billing when it gets to a point where we're done with all this uh, COVID-19 stuff. And, but I don't know. Um, well, I'll show you this last thing I was um, kind of talking about here. If you press on the house, I'm gonna turn up the. Oh, it's sad. It's happy. And if Sandy is happy, she is not sad. The opposite of tall 
called is short. And the opposite of dark is light. What is the opposite of sad? Drag it to the box. So one of the cool things about this, I think, is that it kind of engages them at a, a level and then you kind of work up from that level. So um, I'm going to end the video with that, but I just wanted to kind of show you that. Again, you can find it's called Khan Academy Kids. If you look it up in the App Store, um, you download it, you just load up your child in there and um, kind of off they go. Um, you could probably get the app too on your um, laptop or your computer, but I think it's more mobile friendly. So I would definitely look into that. But um, that's it for today's video. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, comment down below if there's anything you can uh, add or if there's any questions. I would love to talk to you guys about it. Um, but until next time, I'll see you later.